All right, we are on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to tonight's team call. I'm Lily Rubio, founder of Team Forever Fit. And I am so grateful that you are spending tonight with us. I want to stress the importance of being on these calls. You know, even if you feel like you're, you've been a long time coach, not, you know, you just joined, making the time to be here as a team, we grow together, we get to meet each other once a year, and it keeps you connected, keeps you in the loop. So definitely add this to your schedule and make it, oh, excuse me, Crystal, in your infrared sauna. <laughs> We're jelly. <laughs> Bridget has one too. I need to go to Bridget's and, and use it. <laughs> Bridget's a fellow infraredder too. So sorry, I got distracted by Crystal. Um, listen, we even show up to our team called Naked. Look at Crystal. <laughs> Half naked. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you're here. Welcome, new coaches. Welcome, Yvette, Vanessa, Bella, Bridget, Maria, Aileen, and Elizabeth. So, uh, first things first, I just want to make some announcements, make sure we're all on the same page. First, we had a rank advancement in our team today. A lot of you guys saw that Bridget advanced her business to Emerald. Woo -woo. That means that she has signed up two coaches. And, um, and yeah, she's on her way to, to Diamond, baby. That means yeah, we got to look up and strategize how we're going to get you there. But, um, you know, I'm super proud of Bridget. Bridget came in just like what I loved about her. And you know what? I leaned have the same quality and I'm like you guys this little wave of you new coaches Bella too was you guys came in and just started sharing you didn't overthink it you weren't like oh which I have a lot of new girls start and they're like afraid to go on their stories you girls just went at it and started posting and started sharing that's how you do it guys like that's how it gets done because I'm you guys are you have to start like creating that curiosity Remember, the average person doesn't go on stories. They're not creating content every day. So people are watching you. Like, they're there with popcorn. Like, okay, what's this girl talking about today? Um, so it's super interesting when you just start showing up a little more. People are going to start watching you. So good job, ladies. Good job, Bridget. Keep up the great work. Keep sharing with confidence, being bold. You're doing awesome. Um, you guys know that 10 rounds is going to launch, I think for coaches, March 19th, correct me if I'm wrong. On the 9th, we are going to have a sample workout on the 10th. Everyone is going to, we're going to get together at my house. If you're local and we're going to do like a together, we'll do like a fun photo shoot, do the workout. So, okay. March 16th, it comes out for coaches. And so we're going to get like a preview before this. Anyone who signs up as a coach can do the program. So just be planting those seeds. Um, I don't know if Diesel Nation uh, shared their plan. I, I saw Christina posting a, a, like an epic like trailer to it. Uh, there is a trailer to live for. And we can talk tonight how to even make it our own. Or I, I don't even mind creating it. Even though, um, yeah, anyways. So get excited about that, guys. Start plugging it in. This is a time I could tell you that it's really exciting as a team when we could all do like a program at the same time. It just, it brings us together. We're all on the same page. So if you're in the middle of a program, I definitely want to encourage you to finish it and to not jump ship. Uh, but you want to be talking about the new stuff because people may not be interested in what you're currently doing, but if you talk about it, someone might be like, oh, I love kickboxing and they'll be interested. So even if you're not doing it, you still need to promote it. You still need to talk about it. You need to share with enthusiasm, excitement, and just get people riled up. So we're going to, I'll create a video that we could start sharing and getting people excited. All right. Um, so that's the four, just to put it out there, Summit is in July. That is our annual conference. Um, and it is awesome, you guys. We're gonna be planning Summit. Once we get back from Punta Cana, me, Elizabeth, and Diana, I don't think Diana's gonna be able to go, but we're on our way to Punta Cana. First, our team is gonna be representing at the Success Club trip, guys. Super excited for this, and that's coming up. Um, in a few weeks. I can't wait. I can't believe it. After that, we will go ahead in and start planning summit. You guys know I am not a planner, so I'm going to need you planner girls to step up to the plate. <coughs> Melissa, <coughs> Melly, 
and you know start looking at hotels start looking at options we did stay there before so i have a like we could definitely i have more in um what's the word just whatever i could definitely help out and be like okay we stayed here last time or this place is cool or not whatever um so anyways guys uh prepare for that set your mind to it say i'm gonna go to summit um i don't even know how or what when but we're going and just it's you gotta be there it's so much fun there's um, all this personal development, like we're going to have speakers there. You have workshops, the fun workouts with all of the trainers, our team bonding. It is unlike anything else. So plan on it. All right. Yes. We all want to stay in the same hotel and we can chat about it. All right, girls. So let's go on to the topic at hand. Um, for some of you, this may just be a refresher to a lot of you though. We need to talk. We need to talk. We're going to be talking tonight about uh, how to create your challenge group. What does that even mean? What does that entail? And then graphics. We're going to talk about videos. I'm seeing you girls. We definitely got to talk videos and I got to, we need a 911 rescue on some of the stuff you girls are putting out. Um, don't feel bad about anything. The fact that you took action and started doing it is awesome. But today I'm here to um, level up and show you how to do better. Okay. So uh, announcing a challenge group. So this can be done super simple. And let me tell you guys, remember, this is something we do every single month. You don't miss announcing a challenge. This is how we make money, guys. This is how we get new clients. This is how for five years, I get new clients every single month. And I, I promise you that if I don't announce a challenge group, people aren't just messaging me saying, hey, do you have a challenge this month? Five years later, nobody, I mean, yeah, I have the people that say, hey, I'm ready, but to join my challenge, it doesn't happen until I announce it. Once I announce my challenge, now I have something to talk to people about. Hey, did you see my challenge starts March 16th? Are you going to be joining me? Now you have something to invite to. So if you don't announce a challenge group and you don't make this a habit of your business, you don't have a business, guys. Don't tell me this business isn't working for you if you're not creating a challenge group every single month. Okay. So there's two things that we do as coaches, like without rain or shine, we announce a challenge group and we share the coaching opportunity. Now that can be done as a team that can be done live. Just you sharing your story and telling people you would love for them to do this journey with you. We will talk more about coach sneak peeks um, in the coming months. We have a plan for our team calls, but understand that when you're sitting there like, okay, what does it mean to be a coach? How do I, you know, what does the coach do? What do I do? You announce challenge groups and you share the business opportunity. That's it. Simple, right? That's simple. Well, I'm not saying, you know, go in, do surgery, cut someone open, get the vein out. Like that's hard. I'm saying announce a challenge. That's it. Now, what happens when you announce a challenge, guys? I'm going to tell you nine out of 10 times, nothing. You're going to announce a challenge and you're gonna get crickets it's gonna be like comment below if you're ready to join how many of you have already done that let me know join me and you get a ton of comments is your comment box just filling up me 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 it's not okay but you still got to do them and this is why because the work goes behind the scenes the work goes and saying hey don't know if you saw but i'm doing my challenge um, you know, you totally got to do this with me. Okay. That's when the work comes up. But if you didn't announce a challenge, then you got nothing to conversate with people about. Does that make sense? Cause then you're just like a chicken, like, Hey, join me, join me at all hours, all time. You don't got a cut off date. It's just like open door, join, join me. No. So what we do is every month you guys, you can decide, remember it's whose business. Is it my business? It's your business. It's not my business. You don't have to seek my approval. You don't have to ask me for permission. You think of the ideas and then you can come and say, hey, what do you think of this? And of course, that's when I'm like, eh, yeah, good. Yes, thumbs up, go for it, do it. It is your business. So you decide, okay, it's February. I'm gonna do Love Yourself Again Fitness Challenge. You just give it a fun name, guys. You could give it a name like the Busy Working Moms Challenge. You could give it a name like Moms of Autism Challenge. You know, whatever it is. 
Elizabeth is famous for her Disney challenges and people love them and they're all over them, okay? You get creative. As a matter of fact, think of things that you love, you know, whether it's like uh, just an interest, like maybe you're like, um, I don't know, whatever it is, guys. Like you just, you love puppies and you could just call it puppy love and fitness, uh, you know, grind, whatever. And you just give it a fun name and you make people. Now, when you're thinking of this name, think of something. And I want you to write this down, guys. Think of something that someone would say, hey, I want that. Or like, that would be cool. So it doesn't mean like, that's a, like, let's say you did it like puppy lovers and fitness, you know, freaks. Let's say you did a challenge and you called it that. If I'm a puppy lover, that's going to, I'm going to look at that and I'm going to say, I'm a puppy lover. So if you're like, you know, if you called it whatever it is, let it be something that could attract. So when you say something like the busy or the working moms get fit challenge, who, who's going to look at that and be like, oh my gosh, that's me, the working mom, right? So think about a name that you, you could market to someone that someone would say, oh my gosh, I want to do that. Um, so today, just to throw it out there, I called my challenge. This, this for, un, until 10 rounds comes out, I just, I launched the um, Food Freedom Life whatever. I just called it food freedom, like the 60 day nutrition makeover guys. I just put, I thought, oh, makeover, like take what you have, take it to the next level. That was just a little idea that I had. And I called it a nutrition makeover food freedom. Somebody that is seeking that they're going to say, I want food freedom. Okay. So I just gave it a name and okay. So you give it a name. You tell people what's included. What do they get with this? So don't just say, hey, join the challenge. Okay, join it. And what, is, what does that mean? What do I get? What is your challenge? Okay, so you want to make sure and not to use the word challenge so much, but say accountability group. Say, you know, because people don't know what a challenge is. That's so beach body lingo. And we always say that, like, join my challenge. Join my accountability group. Hey, I have a wellness community. Join my fitness community. Join my squad. Okay, that tells me what it is. So even though we call it challenge groups, they don't call it challenge groups. So call it an accountability group when you're referring to it, okay? So you are going to, every month, guys, you look at the calendar and you say, okay, I'm going to give two weeks to promote this. So you look at the calendar, the month starts, it's now March, and my challenge is gonna start. I'm gonna give myself two, not that you could see my phone, two weeks to promote it, to talk about it, and we start on the 16th. That way I can start creating urgency, and when I'm messaging people, hey girl, we start in five more days, are you in or not? If you don't have anything like that to say, then no one's really pressed to join your challenge. So you got to let them know doors are closing. So you choose the theme, the day that you're going to, the day that it starts, and that you need to do to create that urgency, okay? So the theme and the day that it starts, what it includes. I'm going to share on our team page a simple, like the most simplest way to say, I'm looking for 10 girls who want to lose 10 to 15 pounds doing this package includes one meal, meal plan, whatever. It's a simple way. There's a simple way to say it. And then there's a more like you could just share your story. And, you know, I also, um, when I announced the food freedom on my page that nobody commented on, but I have been getting messages about it. So food freedom life. Um, I talked all about it. I told people, see, I like this, guys, that I said, this challenge is for you if I really like that and I've been doing this. So if you want, you could look at that post on my page, the Food Freedom Life. I say, this challenge is for you if you're a busy mom and don't have time to cook. You never, you don't have time for your workouts. Like, talk to the girl. Tell the girl who, the, like, this is for you, girl, for the girl who is always making excuses and watching Netflix instead of working out, okay? 
talk to her and be specific. You could say to the girl that rather um, go to the drive through than meal prep. Okay. Be very specific. Once I said this challenge is for you, if then I said, this is what it includes. And you could totally, I'll actually share this one with you. Okay. And I shared with checkpoints so that it's, you know, clearly marked. And I just shared, it includes this, that water bottle tracker, this, that, okay. It's clear. Now somebody knows. Now when I give them the price, they're not going to be shocked. Oh wait, this costs money. Yeah, because you saw in the post, I said it includes a book, a water bottle. That wasn't free, okay? So it's important. If you're not going to say the price, you're going to say what it includes. And it's kind of like assumed, but now you have a chance to just pique their curiosity and talk to them behind the scenes, okay? So guys, you've come up with your fun theme. How do you, what kind of picture do you use? There's two pictures, two types of pictures you could use to announce your challenge. The very first and most enticing one is your before and after. Okay, if you're a new coach and you don't have a before and after, you put, sorry, you put a picture of yourself, something that implies what you're trying to say. So if I'm doing nutrition, I'm gonna have food in my hands and I'll just take a nice selfie, okay? If I'm doing a water challenge, a free challenge, I'm going to have water in my hands, okay? If I'm doing a fitness, I'm going to have fitness clothes and a fitness pose, okay? So depending on whatever your group is, whatever you want to promote that month or whatever, it's, um, guys, like recently I've been running. I could totally do like just a fun little week, like, hey, run with me, accountability group. That could just be free. I create a little chat on Instagram or, you know, WhatsApp, you know, just a little free group. And I could just say, hey, running mamas, you know, the running mama week challenge, join, run every day for a week with me, you know, something like that. But anyways, I digress the the picture so you're going to use the picture that describes what you're promoting so remember transformation is king if you're still working on yours a progress pick like it would be amazing if you could be like ah these jeans are fitting me loose and you kind of did like a you know that people could see and then so let's say you're not there yet you haven't lost you know all the way but hey you have progress and you could show like ah, these jeans were tied on me and that is going to catch my eye so that's showing progress so you may not have a full transformation but you have a progress pick that would be great to announce your group okay join join me to lose my next 20 pounds you know join your lose your first 10 pounds with me i love promoting that too to say lose your first 10 pounds all right so the, that's the kind of pictures that you're going to use now you have the option so with food freedom life i wrote on the graphic and i personally think like let's say you're going to do a fitness one right here you want to write in the graphic and just say you know working mom's challenge starts six april 16th you know you put the date and you announce it because you want when someone's scrolling to not just be like oh that's a picture but they could see oh wait she says, working mom's challenge. So not only are you going to catch their eye with what the graphic says, you want to make sure it doesn't like take up. You just want to put it like in a corner here. So when you're taking your pictures, guys, make sure, make sure that you leave some room to maybe write a graphic. So instead of taking a picture right here and then like writing it like across my chest, I'm going to come off here to the side take a picture here and then i can write here make sense see how cool that is so you can take a picture here with room to write and then you can promote whatever challenge you're going to do okay so that is announcing your challenge now what do you do guys so crystal shared with us last week that's when the inviting comes so you announce your challenge remember you're gonna get crickets that is normal now you start messaging people. Who are the people you message? You message anyone who liked your post. You message anybody who commented, obviously. Even if they're like, oh, you go, girl. Just message them, hey, thanks for the love. What are you doing for fitness? You know, even if they didn't say, I'm ready, I want to join, just message them and thank them, okay? 
you're also going to announce this on your stories and on your stories, you're going to send it to everyone who viewed your stories. Uh, who doesn't know how to look at who viewed your stories? Do you guys know? Does everybody know or no? Bella, do you know to see who viewed your stories? I just want to make sure everyone knows. I'm trying to get, where is it? How do I get to my stories? Okay. So when you're on your stories, you're just going to swipe up and then all your stats are there. And then guys, there's an arrow right here. You could literally just go pa, 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 pa and message everybody that viewed your story. It's super easy. Okay. And that's why that's fun. Um, okay. Yes. Good job. All right. Good job. I'm not good at taking pictures of myself. Any tips? Karen. Yes. My tip is if you're going to take pictures of yourself, put on some makeup, put a little blush, put some chapstick or some lipstick, get in front of a window or go outside and grab your phone and go like this. Where is the best? Ooh, right here. This angle is best. Is it here? Is it, oh, right there. Look how bright I look. Okay, so you move the camera around and you look for the best lighting. If not in your home, it's going to be in front of a window. All right, we'll talk more about picture taking hacks at another time. But if you're going to take a picture or that day you get dressed up, you go to church, you look nice, take advantage. Take a few selfies that day. Change your shirt. Be like, I got makeup on. Let me take a few pictures right now. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. So where are we? We announced our group. We message. Now we're inviting people. All right. So then that's where the tracker sheet comes up, guys. And every day you're going to announce. Once you announce it, now it's time to get to work. Hey, girl, are you going to join my challenge? I, I would say every other day, plug it in. So you could do something like create a list and be like, you know, the Fit Babes challenge and then We've been doing this where you create like a one, two, three, four, like a, um, a sign up sheet, and you could say Crystal's in, Becky's in, and then your name here. You know, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but we just create like a little hype, like a little list that people could get on, and that way people feel like, hey, I want to be on her list. So that's also a good idea. And then as people start joining, you show people, hey, she joined the challenge, she joined the challenge. So that's a lot of fun to do and to just create FOMO. All right, so every other day you can talk about your challenge. And I just say that because you don't want to be, now, unless it's like something happening in three days, like my sneak peeks, if my sneak peek is on a Wednesday and it's Monday, I'm going to talk about it every day until Wednesday and then I'll shut up. But if it's something like coming up fast, you have to talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Okay. Okay. So every other day, now I announce my challenge, right? Nobody's saying anything. But then I'm going to go in the DMs. I'm going to start inviting people. I'm not going to say anything the next day. The next day, I'm just going to show my meal. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to say, ooh, I worked out. Don't mention anything. The following day, bring it up again. Be like, guys, okay, so you know about my challenge. It starts on the 16th. Create that hype. Like, tell people, like, this is one of the things you get. You know, when you sign up for my challenge, you're going to get a shaker cup, whatever. Okay. Just a little way to plug it in and say, talk about it. And then you can create a poll or you could just ask a question. Do you have any questions about my challenge? And just put it there so that you have something to talk to people about. Okay. Now it's the day of your challenge. The day of your challenge, it's going to start, let's say you've been promoting it for two weeks because guys, honestly, it takes a month to get all the people. It doesn't take two weeks. It takes a month. But if you don't ever set that cutoff date, the idea is to invite, invite, invite to your challenge. And then all the conversations are going to trickle in for the rest of the month. And people could totally join you. They'll only be like a week behind, you know, two weeks behind. They can totally join you. But we have to set this date so that people feel like they got to get in. They got to get in, right? Okay. Um, your challenge starts, guys. And now what you do is you talk about your challenge. Yo, look, I had six girls love their workouts. Woo, I'm so proud of my girls. Ah, look, uh, 
you know, this girl lost two pounds, whatever it is. And now you just talk about how great it's going or what you've been able to do. All right. Until it's time to talk about the business opportunity. Okay. So that is a summary guys. And you can go back and listen to this call on the replay, but this is what we do. This is how you run your business every single month. I announce a new challenge. All right, so that is your job. You announce a challenge group. And as a team, we can share ideas. I do want to share with you that there is, if you're willing to invest, you know, maybe you, you want to invest into your business, there are people that have created businesses targeting Beachbody coaches. And they come up with really fun themes. It's on Etsy. And if you put Beachbody coach challenge group, People have come up with really cool challenges with the graphics, with what do you post every day? How do you, you know, they're awesome. The last one that I did, the wild and free, I don't know if you remember that. I bought it off Etsy for $39. It gave me a guide of what to post every day in my group. It, it gave me cool graphics. It, told, it gave me like promotional stuff to put on my stories. It was awesome. Okay, worth every penny. So it may be something that just you're thinking, hey, you could spend 39 bucks on some shoes or 39 bucks to buy this challenge group guide and invest it in your business and make you look all professional with these great graphics. Okay, so once you've announced your group, guys, and you got it, you got three girls, three girls want to be in your group. They buy the challenge pack, they're ready. Now what? Okay. You girls are more than welcome to add your people to my page. It's the Not Fat, Not Skinny Girls. And you can say, hey, let's join my coach until we get a few, let's, until we get a few more girls, just because there's more people in there and that's where I've been posting, it'll be fun. But once you have about five girls, I definitely recommend for you to get out of my group because people want to see you, okay? They want, they, you want them to see you as the leader. But in the beginning, just say, hey, let's join my coach. Don't be like, you know, don't make a big deal about it. Just say, this is my coach's group and let's just join it. I'll be posting there too. We could do this together. Okay, so in the beginning, you girls, if you're scared, go ahead and tell me, Lily, I got a girl and I'll add her to the group. And my only, well, the only thing I ask is that you show up and you also show up in the group. Don't leave me there supporting your girl, commenting on your girl. You need to show up, okay? If you're really bold, guys, and you're like, you know what, bump that, I could do this. You are going to just create your own. You could do a chat on Instagram. You could do a WhatsApp. You could use the Beachbody Challenge Tracker app, which is what I use right now. You could do a Facebook group, a Facebook, however you feel most comfortable. If it's just a few girls, maybe just do a phone chat and just say, hey, girls. And every morning you could do like a motivational quote and you just do it through text, okay? That's how you do it. You gotta get your girls together, and then if you're like, but what do I post, what do I say? For right now, guys, don't worry about it. Just show up. Just show them, hey, drink my shake. How about you guys? Did you drink the shake yet? Did my workout, did you? That's it. Don't worry about like being there like woo -woo guru, but Beachbody does have challenge group guides that tell you exactly day one what to post, depending on the program. Or there's one that's multi-program and it'll tell you, hey, here's a picture. Just like the ones that I bought on Etsy, but the Etsy ones are really nice. Beachbody also provides that for us. So if you want to know about that, message me. Okay, we got to move on because we only have nine minutes left. Videos. All right, some of you, let's go through really quick. If you guys have an iPhone, comment in the chat if you do not have an iPhone. Because right now I'm going to show you how to make a video using iMovie. And it comes with your iPhone, every iPhone. I'll move on. Don't worry. I mean, I'm not going to forget about you. Okay. So every iPhone comes with the purple little star. That is iMovie. All right? Don't worry so much about filming yourself during a workout. Do your workout. And then after your workout, girls, you're going to pick three moves that you're going to film. Okay? So you want to make sure what you're going to do is use your regular camera and you're going to face it your way, okay? And I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm back enough so that if, when I'm on Instagram, I'm not going to look like this. That kind of happened to you today, Bridget, with your TikTok. So you want to make sure 
that you're back enough, you know, and in the square, okay? There is a way to format the TikTok to a square. I'll have to show you that. But just make sure you're back, okay? So now I'm going to pick two moves. I'm going to do this. I'm going to press. I'm going to go to my video, and I'm just going to film it right there. And I can walk away. Like It's going to film me, you know, doing that. And I'm going to do my three moves. Three moves, you know. There we go. Okay, I filmed my three moves, and now on your actual phone, you can edit clips. So let's say I just do, I do three moves. I'm gonna edit out the part that I actually like pressed record and walked away from my camera. So I'm just gonna press edit up the top of your phone. Everyone has an edit. And I'm gonna press edit. And then I can crop it right here. So I'm gonna crop my clips to this part that I want. So you don't even have to do three. Well, okay, it depends. Do three, you would do, th in this case, you would do three separate videos. And then we're gonna put it into one. So once you, you cropped out, you could either do that, like let's say you just wanna put it on your stories. Okay, I'm gonna put this video on my stories. I'm gonna crop out the part that I pressed record and that I stopped the camera, like went up and stopped it. I'm gonna do like that and then you save it. You put done and it saves as a new clip. And now you don't have yourself like pressing record or anything like that. Does that make sense? Oh crap. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into iMovie. So iMovie, I open iMovie. And Bella, this is the part I want you to see. Because I, you're using something that when I'm viewing you on your stories, your video is small. You want it to take up the whole square. So now I'm going to go to iMovie, and I'm going to press that plus sign, and I'm going to create. And then I'm just going to pick all of my video clips, which I just selected three, and I'm going to go down here and create a movie. Now all my clips are right here together, okay? If I want it for stories, I'm going to click on the, I'm going to click on the actual graphic. And then there is a little uh, magnifying glass here. And I'm just going to grab the clip and make it narrow for Instagram stories. But here's the thing. When you first import them, they are perfectly square for your Instagram feed. So if you want to do something for your feed, leave it at the square setting, save it and then come back and, and then you can do one for your stories and then make them narrow. Because sometimes like, look, let's say if I just put them on narrow for my stories and then I'm like, no, 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 I want it for my Instagram feed and I kind of make it big. Now I don't know the exact size of the square that was Instagram for Instagram ready, okay? So you grab that clip, magnifying glass up here, makes it small for stories or you just import it and keep it square for your feed. And look, you can move this up and down until it's where you want it to be, okay? I would just create this with no sound and then use the music from Instagram, from Instagram stories. So I'm gonna now save this clip and I'm going to put it on Instagram stories and I'm gonna select a song and just put a song on there. Let's talk about uh, Instagram stories, putting a song. So, all right, so I got this clip right here. I want to put a song on. I just want to make sure that everybody knows this. Okay, the song is right there. You guys know that you can make this, well, first of all, you can decide, do you want the lyrics going across? Do you just want that? I usually use this. And then I put done and I, you can shrink this down guys, super tiny so that you can't even see that. Okay. Cause you don't just want that like music thing. Like I just, I don't want it. I want me to show not the music unless I'm going to do lyrics. If I'm going to do lyrics, then I have the lyrics going through. And sometimes I like that. Okay. But if I don't want lyrics, I'm going to scroll here and just put that thing and then shrink it down really small. Okay? So that is making, that's how you're going to get a video. You're going to put it in iMovie.
size it and then take it back to Instagram stories. So, um, okay, does that make sense? Does anyone have questions about that? Now let's talk about TikTok really quick because TikTok has been super fun and I don't know if you guys are using it. So I'm gonna go through this really fast because we only have two minutes, but um, you can go back and, and walk through it, okay? So to make a TikTok, I'm gonna open TikTok. I'm going to come here and I mean, this is what you could do. So right here, if I had my clip that I, I recorded of myself doing a push-up, I'm gonna just come here and pick the video that I want and I can edit this in TikTok. So you can do a previous TikTok video and upload it or, dang it, this junk's gonna end. Um, this isn't enough time. Do you guys wanna go through TikTok? Cause I could just create another link. Do you want me to do TikTok guys? <laughs> yes, yay, nay. Okay, I guess if you guys already know it. Okay, let me just, you mean tonight, right now, Elizabeth? You could, I could it depends on what everybody else wants to do, or you could do another call in general, because it's, I think that's like a whole nother topic that I know. It is, about. it is, because it's like, okay, wait, everyone smile, this is gonna end. One, two, three. All right. Um, it is a whole nother topic, but basically you girls got the, like the gist for like how to edit those videos. Make sure you stand back and you just got to like size them square. Sometimes I film, can you film square? You can't film square, but just step back and say, would this fit in a square? Which usually you just got to step back and then it will. Okay. So, all right, girls, so much information. I'm so excited that. We could go through this. We're gonna keep learning. Next week we have Elizabeth talking to us. You definitely wanna tune in for that. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you have questions, of course, message me, all right? I'll post the picture that we just took on the team chat. And um, that's it. Bye guys, good night. <laughs>